Okay, I am going to work on and show you a little bit about how to take a molt from a newly molted tarantula, which I have put here, and um, spread it so that it's like, like these, so then look at it under the microscope, and I'll show you what to look for. And um, basically, it's always best to do this right after it molts, because the skin is still very pliable. I'm going to use... I have a syringe with some soap water in it. The soap basically cuts through the um, water resistance of the of the skin, the hydrophobic aspect of the skin. I use two little cocktail swords um, for this, and then a little sheet of paper, a little sheet of plastic, and um, my microscope. So. Um, let me set her to the side. She is done. And I don't have anything to do this with in a good way, so this may not be so easy to do. Too, I can't do this two-handed because I've got the camera here. Um, basically, what I like to do is I use the water and it kind of helps hold it down. Don't need a huge amount, just a few drops. Um, I'm going to do a few things with this. One of them, I keep records of the tarantula's sizes and growth for each molt. So uh, something that's really cool to watch with the, with this, I won't do it here, you can do it on your own, is I will take the skin, like you, you can um, you can see how the soap water just cuts right through the hydrophobic aspect of these legs uh, and the skin. Well, you can take a spray bottle and just spray it down um, until you washed away all the soap, all the soap, and as soon as you do that, it goes hydrophobic again. It's pretty cool to see. All right, so I usually spread this so that I can measure uh, the leg span. As you can see here, it's about one and three eighths. Um, now, this is actually in a pretty good position. spread. Like you can see, I need to get this part spread right here. Um, and I don't know how best to do this. I'm going to try to... Uh... Oops, sorry about that. Okay, what I'm going to try to do here and do this through the camera will not be so easy. Yeah, you know, I oftentimes find it is easier to, wow, this is hard to do, pull off the extra there. Ooh, almost dropped this. This is not easy to do. Try to scoot this forward. I'm holding this camera with my knees. Good. This is just about the size. I find that right around inch and a half is a great size to work with the skin. I have done as much as small as half an inch with my Sear Cosmos Rite before. I don't know how I did that, but I managed. Um, and uh, But I find that the easiest, it gets, starts to get easier around an inch and a half. Okay, so I've got this spread. Now I'm going to zoom out. Take my um, microscope. Should I have this ready before? Sorry about that. 
all I have to do is plug this thing in and it is lit up from underneath. I've got it on 4X and I'm going to take the scan and put it underneath the microscope. Now, excuse me a minute here. I am going to look through the microscope to see if I have this positioned right. And I do. And now to get Awesome. Now to try to use a spacer here. Ooh. There we go. So right at the end of that, oh man, I had it. There we go. Right at the end of the pointer there, you can see those two little e alien ears and a flap. So this one is indeed a female. Yay. And that's how we sex a female baby tarantula.